Have you ever wondered how a tiny component can make your entire body tremble, all from a single wave of sound? What lies behind those powerful bass lines that can turn a small room into a full-blown concert? On the outside, a speaker may seem like nothing more than a simple sound device, but hidden beneath its shell is a machine that controls the air itself. Where engineering and music merge into one, capable of transforming silence into explosion in just a matter of seconds. In today's documentary, The Factron takes you inside the journey of crafting a device that turns electricity into emotion, where sheets of metal and copper coils, thinner than a strand of hair, are assembled with absolute precision to create sound that can touch the deepest corners of human feeling. It's hard to imagine that in just one year, the global smart speaker market generates nearly 11 billion USD. Behind this seemingly ordinary device lies an entire industry where technology giants invest hundreds of millions of dollars annually to refine the listening experience, chasing deeper bass. Across the world, enormous factories operate around the clock, producing more than 150,000 speakers every single day enough to fill an entire city with sound in just 24 hours. Yet few realize that a speaker doesn't actually create sound the way we imagine. Every melody, every rhythm, every surge of bass is, at its core, nothing more than air in motion at a microscopic scale. Invisible vibrations engineered with such precision that they can evoke emotion, energy, and connection throughout the spaces where we live, work, and listen. Behind every crisp, precise sound emitted from a modern speaker lies a small but essential component, the magnet. In speaker manufacturing, two main types of magnets dominate the industry. Ferret, known for being heavy, affordable, and durable, and neodymium, prized for its lightweight, exceptional strength, and higher cost. Each is chosen carefully depending on the desired audio performance and the size of the driver it powers. The creation of these magnets begins within the blazing heat of industrial furnaces, where a mixture of minerals and rare earth metals is melted at temperatures exceeding 1000 Fahrenheit. After several hours of processing, the molten material is poured into precision molds and compressed to form magnetic blanks, typically in cylindrical or ring shapes, depending on the specific speaker design. Inside shielded chambers designed to prevent magnetic interference, High power systems discharge immense electrical pulses, powerful enough to pull nearby steel tools off a workbench. This magnetic surge forces the internal magnetic domains of the material to align perfectly, transforming the once inert metal block into a permanent magnet with strong, stable, and long-lasting magnetic fields. The high temperatures used earlier help stabilize the magnetic structure ensuring durability and resistance to demagnetization. Once cooled, each blank is transferred to precision machining stations, where it is milled into its final cylindrical or ring form with exact dimensions required for speaker assembly. Beneath the freshly completed magnet assembly, the next component to enter the vibration mechanism is the copper voice coil a part that behaves like a miniature motor, converting electrical signals into precise mechanical motion. The wire used is pure copper coated with an ultra-thin layer of insulation, ensuring optimal conductivity without the risk of short-circuiting. But have you ever wondered why copper remains an almost irreplaceable choice in audio engineering? The wire is wound into a cylindrical coil around a core or bobbin shaped by high-precision automatic winding machines. Each turn must sit in the exact position required to generate a stable and uniform electromagnetic field. The winding system controls tension, speed, and direction, programmed to match the intended design. Depending on the loudspeaker type, the coil may consist of a single layer or multiple layers stacked together, formed like a sophisticated muscle bundle at the heart of the moving system. Finally, the entire coil is coated with heat-resistant adhesive to secure and protect it during operation. 
This is where electrical energy transforms into motion, the true soul of sound. If the voice coil is the engine that generates motion, then the diaphragm is the amplifying arm that transforms that motion into audible sound. This component stands at the center of the acoustic signature, as the very shape of the diaphragm can create a distinct contrast between two tonal characters. Materials used for diaphragm production are typically light and resilient, such as polypropylene, fiberglass, pressed paper, or mylar. In high-end loudspeakers, titanium or carbon fiber may be chosen to enhance responsiveness without introducing distortion. Sheets of these materials are cut into circular blanks and then placed into a thermal press. Inside the press, metal molds with fixed geometry heat and compress the material at high temperature, forming the cone or dome profile characteristic of each speaker design. Pressure, temperature, and pressing duration are precisely tuned for every material type to prevent warping or edge tearing. Next, some diaphragms undergo surface treatment to increase durability or receive protective coatings against moisture and static charge. Details such as rib patterns, depth, and cone angle are carefully engineered to ensure proper frequency response across specific ranges. In this stage, even a millimeter can influence the final acoustic performance. To verify uniformity, Technicians often use laser scanning systems to map the diaphragm surface and compare it to the original design blueprint. Through the balance of optimized materials and tightly controlled geometry, each diaphragm leaves the factory with near-perfect consistency. Once the speaker frame has been prepared, the magnetic assembly enters its integration phase a stage that determines the precision of the entire driver. From separate components, including the magnet, pole ring, and top plate, technicians build a unified magnetic module in which every part must be aligned with absolute accuracy to create the correct magnetic gap for the voice coil to operate. The magnet is placed first, followed by the pole ring and top plate, which are pressed into position using a specialized alignment machine. Sensors embedded in the system continuously monitor deviations and adjust automatically, maintaining error margins below 0.1 mm. When the magnetic components have been positioned correctly, the technician installs the mechanical centering collar to secure the axis of motion, preventing the magnetic assembly from rotating or shifting during high volume operation. At this point, the adhesive application stage becomes especially critical. An automated dispenser applies glue in a closed circular pattern around the bonding surfaces. Pump pressure, flow rate, and volume are all algorithmically controlled, allowing the adhesive to spread evenly into the guide grooves without foaming, without overflow, and most importantly, without disturbing the concentricity of the magnetic assembly. Only a few seconds later, the adhesive begins to cure creating an initial bond that locks the module into a single solid structure. Finally, the spider is bonded onto the frame. This component ensures that the voice coil moves strictly along one axis, without lateral drift and without twisting under high-frequency oscillation. Once the spider adhesive has fully set, the magnetic mechanical assembly is unified, completing a fully formed driver core. When the magnetic assembly is perfectly aligned, the speaker frame receives its two core components, the voice coil and the diaphragm. If a loudspeaker were an electronic instrument, the coil would be the source of motion, while the diaphragm becomes the surface that delivers sound, two elements that cannot function effectively without each other. The process begins with the coil being placed into the narrow magnetic gap between the magnet and pole core, where a deviation of only fractions of a millimeter can alter frequency response and sensitivity. Depending on the speaker design, the coil is mounted either by hand or by automated pick-and-place systems, then its leads are soldiered to electrical terminals for connection. At the same time, the diaphragm, made from compressed paper, polymers, or carbon fiber materials, is positioned and bonded directly to the coil using specialized adhesive. This stage requires both mechanical precision and skilled craftsmanship. Even slight misalignment can cause coil rub and distortion. It is here that a speaker's clarity and accuracy are truly shaped. 
Once the voice coil and diaphragm have been securely bonded, the assembly is immediately placed into a specialized curing chamber for anywhere from 20 minutes to several hours. This stage allows the heat-resistant adhesive to fully harden, locking every component in place and forming a stable mechanical structure while still preserving the diaphragm's natural flexibility for sound reproduction. Next, technicians perform a manual inspection using directed light to examine every bonding point. The goal is to ensure that the diaphragm and coil are fixed exactly as designed, perfectly centered, free of misalignment, and with no contact against the magnet. With the driver now complete, the production line transitions to cabinet construction, a stage that fundamentally determines the loudspeaker's overall acoustic performance. The most favored materials are MDF or birch plywood, chosen for their structural stability, excellent acoustic properties, and cost efficiency. The process begins by cutting wood panels to exact dimensions using CNC-controlled machinery. Every cut must match the original blueprint with minimal tolerance as even a deviation of a few millimeters can create air leakage, weaken bass response, and reduce system stability. Once shaped, each panel moves to assembly, where industrial adhesives and mechanical fasteners work together. Adhesive bonds the surfaces, while screws reinforce structural rigidity, ensuring the cabinet can withstand continuous vibration at high playback levels. Inside the enclosure, Structural braces are strategically placed at high resonance points, accompanied by damping materials such as acoustic foam or mineral wool. These elements reduce internal standing waves and suppress unwanted resonance, resulting in a cleaner, more controlled output. Technicians then machine precise openings for the woofer, tweeter, bass reflex port, and signal terminals. Each position is calculated according to crossover frequency, internal volume, and airflow behavior, allowing every driver to perform at full potential without interfering with the others. Once the wooden body is structurally complete, its exterior is finished with vinyl wrap, lacquer, or acoustic fabric. This layer protects the enclosure from moisture and warping, enhances appearance, and subtly shapes surface reflection characteristics during playback. In the final stage, the driver's crossover network, base port, and connectors are mounted and secured then shielded with a front grille to prevent dust and impact, ensuring long-term mechanical stability. Through every stage, cutting, bonding, acoustic damping, and surface finishing, the cabinet becomes far more than a shell. It is the foundation of the loudspeaker's character, shaping frequency behavior and providing the environment in which sound can emerge faithfully, accurately, and with full emotional presence. The loudspeaker cabinet only becomes a true audio instrument once it enters the final assembly stage, the moment when every component is placed precisely where it is meant to be. Here, each acoustic element is installed by hand, following a carefully structured sequence. Technicians begin by lining the internal walls with damping material, reducing internal resonance so that sound can emerge cleaner, clearer, free from muddy low-end buildup. Next, signal wires are routed through narrow internal channels and connected to the crossover board and rear terminals. Cable positioning is just as critical as the components themselves. It must avoid electromagnetic interference and never obstruct airflow within the enclosure. Afterward, the drivers, woofers, and tweeters are seated into their designated mounts and every screw is tightened to a calibrated torque. Too much force risks deforming the frame while too little can cause vibration or mechanical noise during playback. Once the wiring and crossover network are fully connected, the cabinet undergoes structural inspection. Panel air tightness, port alignment, and mechanical rigidity are verified one by one. A deviation as small as a millimeter can alter frequency balance, so precision is absolute. The loudspeaker then moves into the testing phase. Each unit is scanned for mechanical resonance using vibration sensors, and selected samples are placed inside an anechoic chamber for full frequency response measurement from 20 Hz to 20 kHz, comparing the result to a reference curve and rejecting anything outside tolerance. 
Some models are driven at high volume for hours to simulate real-world stress, ensuring durability and long-term stability. Only after passing all stages is the speaker cleaned and prepared for packaging. It is placed into a shaped cradle, cushioned with shock-absorbing foam, sealed inside multi-layer cartons, and arranged onto pallets for shipping. From here, a product that once existed merely as wood panels and loose components becomes an instrument capable of shaping sound, ready to leave the factory and play its first notes in living rooms, studios, and stages around the world. From the smallest components to the final stage of testing, every professional loudspeaker is a result of precision engineering and uncompromising quality control. It is more than just a device that produces sound. It is an acoustic structure designed to deliver emotion in its purest form to the listener. If you found the journey behind these powerful sounds inspiring, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and share this video so more people can discover it with you.